What He does in you, He's gonna do through you. What He reveals to you, He's building a temple in you so that you could reveal that to the earth. Just like in the old covenant, that temple was so specific in measurement, so detailed, so structured, so that the glory could be hosted on earth. He's still intentional today. Every single moment with Him, He's building something in you. There's no coincidence why God touched you there, touched you there. He's building a temple. What He reveals to you, He will reveal through you. And so I had an encounter for seven days. I didn't just have a story to tell. I have now become an encounter. I've become a walking Christ encounter. And our people I met, I've, I've lost count, probably about 3,000 stories of first time encounters with the Lord. I was just at a kid's camp and there was, uh, if any of those kids were at that camp, give me a wave. Come up and tell, tell them how it was. Come up quickly. And I was at this kid's camp and I was gonna, I was gonna preach, I was gonna preach on light in the darkness and, and it was camp, you know, camp and I, I don't know what age is, probably 10 to 14. Were you there? Come up. Yeah, come up. And, uh, yeah, come over here. Where's Lorenzo? Lorenzo, come here. Just uh, and I remember we hit the lights, and I was going to preach at night time. I took out a big torch and I hit the lights to preach on the lights and the darkness, and all these kids got filled with the Holy Spirit. And for the next two and a half hours, the power of God started moving. We lost the meeting. It wasn't it crazy? Tell them a tiny bit of what it was like. Um, <laughs> Wait, how old are you? What's your name? Oh, I'm Hannah Wilson. My name, oh. <laughs> My name is Hannah Wilson, and I'm 12 years old. And um, do I say what school I go to? No, you don't have to say Oh. She, uh, she asked me, she, does she need to tell everyone what school she goes to? I'm like, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> what was it like at the camp? Uh, basically, what happened is we were, it, worship went long, and then... Um, uh, someone came up and announced Rich, and then um, the lights went out. Like, I don't think the power went out, but someone turned the lights off, and once the light went off, it was kind of like a snap. I heard someone snap, and then everyone just fell over. It was completely crazy, and um, some of my friends who I don't think would ever cry in their whole life had their first encounter, and they were just weeping under the power of God, and... Um, then we went back to our cabins and everyone was just still weeping and people were up until like crazy hours in the night just under the power of God. And then um, I just like, I could, sometimes I could like hear a faint like whimper. It was kind of weird, but like um, <laughs> I felt like a lot of um, peace, especially me, I was just kneeling in the front and I didn't really feel like a ton at first. But then, um, Richie prayed over me and I just started screaming in the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, that, nice, that night I lost my voice, uh, <laughs> but uh, that camp was one of the most powerful camps I've ever been to. And Richie said it was the most powerful meeting he's ever spoken, so. <laughs> wow, isn't that beautiful? Woo! <laughs> oh, there's lots of you that are here. <laughs> Lorenzo, come just right behind her over here. Come take one step forward. Holy Spirit, we ask that your glory would rest on Hannah right now. God, I pray for a fresh fire to rest on her. God, we ask in Jesus' name that you would pour out your fire on her. You're raising up a young prophet, God. You're raising up a young prophet in our day. God, I thank you for the deposit from her parents that are going into her. And Jesus, I ask for the anointing of God to rest on her. Someone else that had a, their first kind of like crazy encounter. Yeah, tell them. What's your name and how old are you? Lydia, and I'm 11 years old. Okay. Um, I remember he was doing this weird experiment. I don't, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was fun. But um, when it happened, this, this camp was like the first time I've really encountered God, like truly. And um, just the word of God and his peace and just his presence was filling the room and so many people around us. So it would just be like a wave of fire we pour buckets on people, and they would go crazy. And
and I think that was the time I accidentally fell on him. <laughs> Did, was I the one who fell on you? I think, yes, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I was just feeling God so, so much. Oh. Isn't that wild? Give the Lord a clap like He's moving. <laughs> Someone else that. God, look what's happening over here. Fire of God on it right now. The fire of God. Woo, Jesus. <laughs> Donna, you like that, eh? Fire of God. <laughs> Come over here. I remember you got radically touched. Tell, tell us what happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell them your name. I'm Emily, and I'm 12 years old. And um, everything was, like, really normal at first. We were just praying for everybody. And then as someone turned off the lights and then everybody started um, crying and me as one of them. And yeah, that was like my first encounter with God. One of, my, one of the biggest ones. Wow, that was your first encounter ever with God? Yeah, like one of the biggest ones. Biggest one, wow. And what do you think God is doing in you? Oh, give the Lord a clap. Woo! <laughs> Isn't that wild, eh? Yeah. Anyone else had a, had the, yeah, come over here. Um, at this camp, I was freed from depression and anxiety. Give the Lord some love. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Turn someone next to you and say, isn't Jesus wonderful? <laughs> okay. My name is Nora, and I'm almost 14 years old. And I remember you. <laughs> Whoa, that was wild. <laughs> um, so I've actually struggled with suicidal thoughts and depression for about a year and a half. And at there, there was a moment when the lights went out, and like Hannah said, there was like a snap, and I felt like this weight lift off of my, like, my chest and my shoulders, and ever since that camp, I felt like this significant peace, like over and over again. So, yeah. Give the Lord some praise. Oh, we love you, God. We love you, God. Uh, Hannah, can you come and pray for her? Yeah, come up and pray for her. Come up and pray for her. Stand over there, just in case you fall. Right over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just turn your affections to Jesus. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Anything is possible here. <laughs> Man, we should just turn off the lights and see what happens. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy, eh, Gabe? <laughs> the streaming people would even get touched. Who would, would one of you want to share? Yeah, okay. he says, why not, why not, why not? Um, I'm Josh, and I'm 13. <laughs> and so this was my first encounter, and it was probably the biggest thing that happened to me for the majority of my life. Wow. And what do you, th what do you think God was doing? And what, ha what happened? What happened? So um, when the lights turned off, it was just like, I don't know what happened, but it, everything changed. It was like... <laughs> The room was on fire, it was glowing, it was, it was weird, yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Keep Bethel weird, keep Bethel biblical. <laughs> that was Dan Farrelly, he told me, that's the coin, that's the phrase he coined. Tell him, what do you think God is doing in you? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, what's the first thing that came to your head? Freeing other people. Freeing other people, come on, Jesus. Oh, I like you. 13. And that was the most, one of the most significant things that have ever happened in your whole life. Give the Lord a clap, eh? Oh, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Anyone else? Did you want to share? Yeah, come. Come over here. So that night was like really crazy. And 
the, the testimonies were even more crazy the next day. Uh, like, quite a bit of people shared testimonies, and I just thought it was really cool about how many people got saved. Wow. That's fun. And did you feel like God was doing anything in you? Yeah, I heard him say that I was a good friend. Oh, that's beautiful. Turn someone next to you and say, you're a good friend. <laughs> Did I miss anyone? Ava, do you want to share? Come on. Give it up for Ava. Holy Spirit, we ask your glory would rest on Ava right now. God, we ask that your fire would rest on her right now. God, you are raising and anointing her. The Lord says it's time to yield. And there's a, I see the fire of God moving through you in a significant way. God, put a call to her lips. God, anoint her, God, that her lips and her words would carry fire, God. In Jesus' name, more, God, more. More, 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 more. Under the anointing, tell them what, what happened. <laughs> The Lord's touching her. Isn't that wild? Whoa! <laughs> like the Kenneth Hagen days, right, Jeff? So, um, basically, I had been asking the Lord for an encounter for a long time of just like, I really felt like I was supposed to cry, and God, just like, He was saying, like, I really feel like, I'm gonna encounter you in joy. And so I heard that at the very beginning and I ended up, um, and well, at the beginning you were like, the floor is gonna be your friend and that ended up happening. So the floor ended up being my best friend and it was so good because I really felt like the way I would have cried, it's like releasing all this pain. I felt like I was releasing all my pain with, um, just laughing all of it off and just like, it was like chains breaking and burdens being lifted. And then the next night. The next night it was so good because I ended up crying through the whole thing. And it just felt like this wave of um, just peace. And it just felt so good to be in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, Hannah, come and, come and pray for her. What rests on your life, I pray would rest on her life. Honestly, either we are absolutely stark raving mad, we are crazy, or God is real, and He's shifting something in the Spirit over these people right here. Turn to someone next to you and say, God's shifting something over your life. Did anyone not get to go? I don't want to, everyone went, okay. Oh, look at you, you did so well. Wow, look at you, you've done so good. Hey, look at you, fire a God on her. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Ooh. Honestly, either we are crazy, but you can't make this stuff up. The lights go out probably about 70 people there and the fire of God hits and it was like the room was just and for the next two and a half hours the power just hits and all these kids and they wrote me all letters to say thank you I got uh, about like 70 80 letters and no jokes about 20 25 plus first time I'd ever experienced the power of God turn someone next to you and say you can experience God's power tonight <laughs> God touched me, and for seven days, I had an encounter. I didn't just have an encounter. What God wanted to do in me, He wanted to do through me. You don't need to be touched just for you. You need to be touched for the nations. You don't need to encounter God just for this thing that you're struggling through. You need to encounter God for your family, for the business you're in. You need a touch from God. 
Shit. Te, 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 te. Put a hand on someone next to you and say, fire. <laughs> oh, Jen, I'm having such a good time with you. And if he, can, if he can touch a bank robber, he can touch you. And if he can mark a 11 year old, he can mark you. And if he can choose Mary Magdalene to carry the greatest gospel story ever, he can choose you. Nothing disqualifies you. You're a bad idea, but God loves you. 